Hi everyone, I am Madam Rosmaya. In this video, we are going to discuss on EMF induced in a rotating coil. One way to generate an EMF is to rotate a coil through a magnetic field. The magnetic field B and the area of the loop are constant, but the angle between the magnetic field and the loop is changing. When the angle is changing, from the magnetic flux equation, phi equals to BA cos theta, so the magnetic flux also changing. From the Faraday's law, EMF is induced when there is a changes in the magnetic flux. So therefore, EMF is induced in the coil. There are two types of uh, induced current in the coil. Depends on the connector to the outer circuit. So we have alternate current and direct current. For alternate current, uh, the connector is a slip ring and carbon brush. And for direct current, the connector consists of split ring and brush. So because of the two types of uh, connector, we can have the output current as uh, alternate current and direct current. Coil positions during rotation. We divide into five positions for one complete rotation. So the coil starts to rotate with its plane vertical. Uh, in this in this uh, diagram, we start. We can say that it start from zero degrees. So the rotation uh, in this case is uh, clockwise rotation. So ninety degrees. Uh, C 180 degrees, D 270 degrees, and the last complete rotation 360 degrees back to uh, A position. And we also discuss how the EMF is induced in the coil at each position. Okay, first position A at 0 degrees. Direction of uh, V uh, is to the right and the magnetic field north to south to the right also. So from the cross product uh, L, V cross B, we use uh, Fleming's right hand rule. So direction of B is to the right. So the pointer of your hand shows to the right. And therefore the V is supposed to be uh, upward. Uh, but in this case, the V is parallel to B. So that means no EMF is induced in the coil. So if we sketch a graph EMF against angles, angles of rotation, so start from the origin 0 here. Okay, second position, 90 degrees. So now the coil is uh, rotated to 90 degrees. Refer to the red uh, mark here, line for the coil. So this time V direction is downward. Uh, B still the same to the right. And using Fleming's uh, right hand rule. So the pointer of your finger shows to the right. Magnetic field B. And then the V is downward. And lastly, the eye is uh, out of the screen, shown by the dot here. So refer to the coil here means uh, direction is as uh, drawn here. Okay, so therefore, uh, at 90 degrees, the current is uh, maximum. Okay, next, at position C, 180 degrees, so the coil continue to rotate until 180 degrees. So this time the V direction is to the left and B magnetic field direction still the same, north to south. Using uh, Fleming's right hand rule, so your pointer finger shows direction of B. The direction of uh, V is uh, 
supposed to be upward eh, but uh, this time is a parallel so v is parallel to b so therefore uh, no emf uh, will be induced in the coil so no current is induced uh, at this position so from the sketch the graph sketch here uh, back to zero next position d 270 degrees Magnetic field direction is to the right, but this time the V is upward. So using Fleming's right hand rule, V direction is to the right. The V position is upward. And lastly, I is uh, into the screen. So that's mean, as shown in the diagram here, position of the current is in the uh, clockwise direction so therefore uh, and this time for op opposite direction so therefore uh, it is uh, plotted uh, down here next uh, back to position A so for the one complete rotation V direction is to the right and B direction also to the right using Fleming's left hand rule Pointer of B, magnetic field to the right, uh, but the V, because it's parallel to the B, so that means no EMF is induced in the coil. So the graph now back to zero. So we get a, a sinusoidal graph using uh, Fleming's left hand rule. So we get about this type of graph. It's a sinusoidal graph, MF induced against rotational angle. Okay, next we are going to discuss uh, qu uh, quantitatively. We are going to derive uh, the MF uh, induced, the equation of the MF induced in the rotating coil. So refer to this diagram, uh, the coil start to rotate with its plane vertical. Start from here with the angular uh, frequency given as omega. Derivation of MF induced in the rotating coil. And uh, choose one uh, side of the coil here. Okay, draw it bigger. And it is rotated uh, at angular uh, frequency, frequency omega and let's say the angle is uh, theta okay this represents the uh, area the area of a coil but the point of view is uh, from this side from side view from side view from magnetic flux equations, phi equals to B A. So normal of A, let's say this way. Refer to the diagram here. So normal is perpendicular to the uh, surface of the coil. So the B direction north to south. So if here is theta, here also theta. So we can... Uh, Resolve the component of A uh, to two components and choose the component uh, that is uh, parallel to B. So using trigonometric ratio, we have here uh, A cos theta and A sin theta. But we choose uh, A cos theta because it's parallel to B. So we substitute into the magnetic flux equation. So we have B A cos theta. If we have n turns of coil, so we can write as nBA cos theta. And theta is omega t. So substitute into the equation, we have nBA cos omega t. And from Faraday's law, EMF is equal to the uh, negative defined by dt. So substitute uh, phi magnetic flux nBA cos omega t. Uh, NBA is a constant, so we can bring to the front 
and the derivation using derivation rule d cos theta by dt we get negative uh, omega sine omega t so negative and negative can be cancelled out so therefore we get emf induced equals to nba omega sine omega t so this is the emf uh, induced for the rotating coil Okay, when uh, omega t is 90 degrees, substitute into the equation, so we have maximum EMF which is equals to NBA omega. So this is the peak EMF. In other words, it's maximum EMF. And we use symbol uh, epsilon here to represent EMF. So we have EMF equals to peak EMF sine omega t. So, this is uh, a proof uh, why we get a sinusoidograph uh, quantitatively okay, by calculation. Okay, now let's try do this uh, question. Calculate the maximum value of the EMF generated in a coil with 200 turns and of area 10 cm squared rotating at 60 radians per second in a field of flux density 0 0.1 tesla. So, the solution from the formula uh, EMF induced equals to NBA omega. So, the N turns is 200. And magnetic field or magnetic flux density or magnetic field strength is 0 0.1 tesla. And the area 10 cm squared convert to the meter squared. And lastly, uh, angular frequency 60 radian per second. So, the answer is 1.2 volt. Okay, that's all for the video. Thank you for watching.